Hi, welcome to this video tutorial on joining of table. In this session, we will discuss need of join operation and different type of joins. Sometimes it is important to extract data from more than one table. And to extract data from more than one table, we have join operation. In SQL, we can join multiple tables on the basis of common columns among those tables. Understand the concept of join with two tables. The first table is employee with columns E number, E name, job and department number. While second department table has column, department number and D name. Department number column of department table will act as its primary key. While department number column of employee table will act as its foreign key. And only those values are allowed in department number column of employee table which exist in corresponding master table. Let us retrieve E name and D name column from employee and department table. Here E name is present in employee table while D name is present in department table. We have to retrieve information from two tables. And to retrieve the information we have select statement. So here we have to select E name and D name from two tables. So the corresponding select statement will be select E name comma D name from employee comma department. If I execute this statement, Oracle internally perform Cartesian product. It mean that first record of employee table will make the pair with first record of department number. Then it will make the pair with second record and then with third record. It mean that first record will make three pairs. Similarly, second record of employee table will also make three pairs with all the records of department table. Same for third record. Similarly, fourth record will make three pairs and fifth record will also make its three pair. It mean that five record from employee table will make pair with three record of department table and there will be 15 records in the output. So here the output will be all possible combination of E name and D name. And this is the concept of Cartesian product. The syntax of Cartesian product is select column 1, comma column 2, comma column 3 and so on from table 1, comma table 2. Here the result will be the Cartesian product of all the rows of join table. It is important to note that Cartesian product does not require the tables to have common columns between them. And if same column appears in more than one table, then column name must be prefixed with table name to resolve its ambiguity. To retrieve E name and their corresponding D name of all the employees, we have used Cartesian product and its output is 15 record. But of course, this is not the desired output. Actually, we require only 5 records as the desired output, but it has 10 extra undesirable record. For example, in case of Ram, his department should be computer and it should not be chemical or mechanical. Similarly, in case of Rajesh, his department is chemical, but it is not computer or mechanical. In case of Suresh, his department is computer but it is not chemical or mechanical. In case of Ramesh, his department is chemical and in case of Surinder, his department is mechanical. So here we have to select these desired 5 records from set of 15 records. To select desired records from set of records, we have to use where clause of select statement. As we have discussed in the Cartesian product, first record of employee table make pair with all possible records of department table. Here record of employee who belongs to department number 10 make three pairs with department number 10, 20 and 30 of department number. But we are only interested in selection of first pair while there is a need to discard second and third pair. So it is very natural that only that pair need to be selected where department number of employee table is equal to the department number of department table. Similarly, in case of second employee, we are again interested in those record where their department numbers are equal and we need to discard those employees where their department numbers are not equal. 
So it is very natural to enforce this condition that only select those pair where department number of employee table is equal to department number of department table. In this way, Ram will make a pair with computer department, Rajesh will make pair with chemical, Suresh with computer, Ramesh with chemical and Surinder with mechanical. And in this way, we will able to select five desired record. So let us write the corresponding select statement. So the select statement will be select E name, comma D name from employee comma department where employee dot department number equal to department dot department number. Since department number is common in both the tables, so it is important to add table name as a prefix to column name to resolve its ambiguity. This is the concept of inner join. So, so if we add where condition to Cartesian join, then it is called as inner join. So inner join is the most common type of join and it is a case of Cartesian product that has a wear clause. Up to this point, we have discussed two type of join. One is Cartesian product, another is inner join. Inner join has further two type. One is equijoin and another is non-equijoin. Let us understand this concept. If wear condition of inner join is based on equality operator, then this is called as equijoin. And its syntax is a non-equijoin is the case of inner join where where condition is not based on equality. In this case, it is based on less than, greater than or not equal to type of operators. So this is the example of non-equijoin and here we are using non-equality operator. Example which we have discussed earlier is a case of equi inner join because here where condition is based on equality operator. Let's execute this command to understand the implementation of join. Here we have employee table with four columns, E number, E name, job and department number. And there are five records in this table. In department table, we have two columns, department number and D name with three records, one for computer, another for chemical and third for mechanical. Now let us write a query to find E name and D name from employee comma department. As we have already discussed, it will perform Cartesian product. There are five records in employee table and three records in department table and it will make all possible pair and produce 15 records in the output as shown here. But of course, this is not the desired output to display E name and D name for each employee. In order to display E name and D name for each employee, we have to add where clause with Cartesian product as shown here. Here we have added where clause to display only those records where employees department number is equal to department tables department number. When we execute this query, it return only five rows to indicate E name and their corresponding D name. This is the concept of equi inner join. Let's summarize the concepts which we have learned in this session. In this session, we have learned the concept of Cartesian product and inner join. We have discussed two types of inner join. One is equi inner join and another is non equi inner join. In next session, we will discuss outer join and its two types that is left outer join and right outer join and self join. Thanks for watching this video.